Hi Church, welcome to this week's devotional. My name is Joyce Ma, I attend Central and I'm on the production team at Central as well. This week we'll be looking at the power of the Holy Spirit and its impact on our lives, in our lives, throughout our lives, every day. Um, we will build on last on who, why and what of the Holy Spirit. Let's look today at the why of the Holy Spirit. Acts 2 verse 1 to 4 says, When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like a blowing of a violent wind came from the heavens and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. They, they saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to the rest of each one. All, all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and they began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Encounter is what the Pentecost experience was all about. It was the promise of the Father spoke in Joel that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. There are many people that that notice a difference between when they commit their lives to Jesus, um, when they commit their lives to Jesus in acknowledgement and in response to the cross, that they have they have this infilling of the Holy Spirit. Their Pentecost experience, the Pentecostal experience, I know. A lot of people who feel like it can it's like they're trying to live for God but sometimes it's a little bit difficult um, and it feels like you're walking one step forward and maybe like two steps back um, but they are filled with the Holy Spirit but when you're filled with the Holy Spirit this is like a supernatural enabling to live for Jesus it's almost like it's not that hard anymore. They got this momentum. They've got this ease when it comes to living their lives for God. That's exactly what the Holy Spirit is given for. Um, that's, give, that's why we, we need this baptism to be filled with the Holy Spirit because it gives us the power to live the live the life lives that God has designed for us. We can't live on our own ability and we can't live on our own goodness. It has to be a supernatural enabling by the Holy Spirit. The baptism moment is where the Holy Spirit, the third person in the enter Trinity, um God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit fills you with power and you're charged. It's like when you're a child, uh, maybe, and you get a toy for Christmas and there's always a sign on the package that says batteries not included, but you really hope your mum and dad remember to buy batteries because otherwise you're just scrounging around the house to find some in any drawers you're getting batteries out of other things as well. The battery is, is important for the toy to be empowered, for the toy to work. And all, all, our, all our lives, we have salvation through Jesus. But the Holy Spirit gives us the power to actually live out the Christian life. Baptism means to dip or to die as to change the color of something with ink dye to be immersed and to be immersed. Um, if you are walking past a pool and then you trip and fall in, you know that you've just been dipped and you know that you have just been immersed in water. It's exactly the same with baptism. The Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit. Um, the Holy Spirit fills you 
in such a way that comes out of that moment knowing that everything has changed when you are baptized in the holy spirit you have the power of god within you to giving the giving you the courage and the strength to actually walk through life and come out the other side not scared broken but actually feeling like a victor not a victim he gives us the power to tell others to witness and to pray and with authority over people's lives the gifts are impo- impacted heavenly language spoken and your own life empowered to live fully alive and follow Jesus it's not because anything you do though it's simply because of the acts chapter 1 and acts chapter 2 moment of the baptism in the holy spirit and being changed being charged um being charged by the power of god we need the cross at calvary we need the cross at calvary but we also need pentecost we need the cross but we also need the baptism of the holy spirit love you church and have a fantastic rest of your day